The Arduino IoT Cloud is an all-in-one solution for IoT development where you can build visual dashboards to monitor your devices, control your data remotely, share live updates with other services, and much more. In this video, we're going to show you all you need to know about the Arduino Cloud environment and its advanced features. I'm Liam from Arduino's content team, and this is a condensed video to get you started with our cloud ecosystem. Check the links in the description for more specific IoT Cloud applications and tutorials. So, what is the Arduino Cloud? And is it the same as the Arduino IoT Cloud? The Arduino Cloud is the simplest way to get started with connected devices and projects. It's a browser-based ecosystem that includes the IoT Cloud together with other applications meaning that the cloud and the IoT cloud are two different things. To access the platform, you need to head to cloud.arduino.cc. All you need to have is an internet connection and an Arduino account, or you can create one easily by clicking here. After signing in, you'll be directly taken into your automatically created private space on the Arduino cloud. You can create new shared spaces or join an already existing space. Shared spaces are especially helpful for educational institutions and businesses that need to share and manage content with many people. But what are all the stuff here? Well, nothing to stress about. There are only three main components to the Arduino cloud. First, we have the courses here on the side. Then we have the two cloud apps, the web editor and the IoT cloud that we mentioned earlier. Whenever you buy one of our Arduino kits, you get access to a set of existing lessons and projects that explore different aspects of the technologies used in your kit. These projects are all stored here in the courses section. In my case, I have the Arduino Opla kit. That's why I have its activities stored here in my courses. Now we will head back to home and have a look at the cloud apps. You may be familiar with our online web editor. It's a browser-based IDE that allows you to write, edit, and upload code to any Arduino board. I prefer using the web editor over the offline IDE, as it doesn't require installations of any extra cores, and it lets me organize and share my sketches very easily. Besides that, the web editor is well integrated with the IoT cloud. By this point, you have probably been wondering what the heck is the IoT cloud. Stay put. I'll make sure to answer your question. The Arduino IoT Cloud allows you to connect your devices, share and visualize the data you're collecting across multiple services, and control your projects from anywhere in the world. It is built for creating advanced IoT projects with minimal code. When it comes to use cases of the IoT Cloud, there are a lot of applications for you to create a well-rounded IoT solutions. Some of these use cases include automated greenhouse monitoring, weather stations, home automation with Alexa, tangible games, and many more. To use the IoT Cloud, all you need is an internet connection, an Arduino account, the Create Agent app, and a cloud-compatible board. We left links to those in the description below. For my hardware setup, I have the Opla kit with the moisture sensor, a water pump, and a humidifier. First, after connecting my device, I'll go to Devices, Add device, set up an Arduino device. Now my device is found, so I can configure it, give it a random name, and now we can wait for the process to be completed. Now that I have my device added, I will go to templates and will choose Smart Garden. This is an automatic template that will add dashboards and things to my IoT cloud. And I can set it up easily like this. And now I will associate my device and enter my Wi-Fi credentials. Now I can see my automatically created dashboard. And then I can navigate to things, smart garden. And now I want to delete my cooling fan variable and add a new variable for the humidifier. I name it 
and then I select the type pollen and I add it. Then I will navigate to sketch and I want to upload over the air. This allows me to upload sketches even though my device is not connected to my computer. And I will wait. Oh, I get an error here. Let's see. Okay, the error is regarding the cooling fan variable. So I can delete this function, which I don't need anymore. And I can upload the sketch again. Awesome, now I have my sketch successfully uploaded to my board. In my Think page, we can see the set webhook feature. This feature allows me to send cloud data via webhook services. Then I'll navigate to my dashboard, smart garden, and now I need to delete the cooling fan variable, and I will add a switch for my new humidifier and link it to my variable. Now I can resize it to fit the screen. Next, I will go to integration and I will add an API key. This will allow me to use services like Node-RED to send data to other services such as Home Assistant, which will control my humidifier in this case. Now we're all set. As you could see, I used an easy setup using the templates to set up a monitoring system for my plant. You can also use the Arduino remote app to monitor your dashboards on your phone. One of the cool premium features is sharing your dashboard with your family and friends. You can use most of those features on the Arduino IoT cloud for free, except a few like integration and using variables above the limit. You can check more details on our IoT cloud subscription page. If you want to know more about our products and services, follow us on social media. Welcome to the Arduino family.